My name is John Kishel. I'm a urologist with Central Maryland Urology Associates, and we're here on the campus at Howard County General Hospital where we do most of our urology surgeries. Most of the kidney cancers that are detected uh, at this time are basically asymptomatic. They're picked up during a routine CAT scan or a renal sonogram or other imaging modality uh, that will survey the abdomen and these are found incidentally. They usually do not cause any symptoms. If we're concerned that the patient may have kidney cancer because of blood in the urine, then we will do some imaging specifically of the kidneys and that can be a CAT scan, can be an MRI, can be a renal sonogram, or an old-fashioned test called an intravenous pilogram. So there are a number of imaging tests that will be required in order to make a diagnosis or exclude a diagnosis. The role for biopsies uh, is actually uh, very new for uh, kidney cancers. Because these lesions are very small, uh, it's now recommended uh, to try to biopsy a lesion to see if it is malignant or not. About 80 to 85 percent of solid lesions in the kidney are cancerous. Uh, so that excludes about 15 percent that may not need to be treated and hence the need for a biopsy. A lot of the options for treatment uh, will depend on the patient's age, physical status in terms of health, uh, comorbidities like high blood pressure, diabetes, obesity. The older the individual that has a diagnosis of a solid kidney mass uh, sometimes can be followed conservatively with just imaging surveillance every 6 to 12 months. Uh, again, a biopsy may be necessary uh, to confirm that it is a kidney cancer and does need surveillance. The majority of lesions that we now see are approximately four centimeters or less. Those lesions can be treated by therapy that can preserve kidney function, which is the most important part of how we deal with kidney tumors uh, at this time. So, well, the surveillance protocols can be performed here at Howard County. Uh, since Howard County is part of Johns Hopkins, if the patient requires surgical removal of the tumor, uh, that can be performed at uh, the main institution at, at Johns Hopkins uh, downtown. And that would most likely require a robotic removal of the tumor, which would be minimally invasive. Uh, some of the other uh, treatment options that involve heating the tumors, such as high-frequency ultrasound or radio-frequency ultrasound, that can be performed here at Howard County by the Interventional Radiology Department. 